What is your NSFW talent? I can stand on a swivel chair to change a broken fluorescent tube. That is not safe for work I guess. I can deep throat popsicles and don't really have a gag reflex. Sadly, I'm a straight, happily married man. Edit, wow, my most upvoted comment on Reddit is about me deep throating something. So many dudes are disappointed right now. Way to go. I can fall asleep anytime. Anywhere. As a school bus driver. That's definitely not safe for work. Edit, thanks for silver. For those asking, no, I'm not narcoleptic. Nor do I have sleep apnea, I've done a sleep study. I wasn't in the military. But I grew up in a big, noisy city with no air conditioning so had to sleep with windows cracked. I taught myself to fall asleep in any condition and now as an adult can fall asleep scary fast, according to my wife. I can suck my own big dick. And no it does not feel like getting your big dig sucked. It feels like sucking a big dig skeptical smiley face. I always wondered about this. I'm a guy. Sometimes I can have two orgasms. One right after the other. And the second one hits like a truck. It's super rare. Though. You can fire each nut individually. I have a very hard time having an orgasm so I can basically duck forever. I'm married by they way and this is a curse at this point. Edit, rip my inbox. I'm a male by the way. Thanks for the silver kind stranger. My girlfriend's nickname for Lexapro when I was on it was Sexapro. I would last forever. Fun for her. Not much for me. She'd get several orgasms into it and I'd just be like we can stop whenever you want I guess. I was on Lexapro for like a year and not only did it heal my six drive. I couldn't climax no matter how long I went, it was horrible. So I quit for about three to four months. Anxiety came roaring back. So I said duck it. Went back on it, I haven't had a single issue with my six drive or getting off. It's like I'm taking nothing at all, no idea what that four month break did. But for some reason I have totally zero side effects this time. I can suck air into Maya's. Had a buddy who could do that. Farts on command. He would ask the teacher to go to the bathroom and if they said no would fart uncontrollably until the teacher released the kid. Now I want to learn this skill. I can finish during 6 then get right back at it within a minute. Still hard. And finish again. How? Second coming. I can come in about 6 seconds. So can I but I'm female. Legend has it that if I run fast enough without a bra on my bobs flap so quickly that I start flying. Quick question. Are you a dude? I can poop without having a drop of urine leave my PP. This is the least believable thing here NGL. I can squirt jizz like across the room with sniper like precision. Tough talk for someone within cumshot distance. I can attract the people I don't like and repel the ones I do like. I can browse reddit and look productive at the same time. I can make my PP small then big. Ah, a fellow grower. I can bust a nut with no hands. Edit, guys no I don't use my mouth. Or anything like that it's a technique and thanks for the upvotes. Holy crap this is the most upvotes I've gotten I'm a take a SC of it cool. Smallest big dig this side of the Mississippi. I can suck my own nipple. Big titty gang. Me too. Love being a guy. Sometimes, if the rhythm, angle, and stars are all aligned, my tits slap together to make the perfect clear clapping sound. Big titty gang is the real deal. Edit 1, I'm a female. But don't doubt that there's a male out there with similar talents. A skill is a skill. Am I right? Edit 2, never thought my milky whites would earn me a silver medal. Tie, kind stranger. There is no limit to how many orgasms I can have in a session. I could roll on forever. It's an exhausting blessing. High score, 11. And then it devolved into jokes about my machine gum of a clit. Not me. But I remember as a kid reading a WWE, WWF kids magazine with Val Venus saying his secret talent was being able to balance a dozen donuts with no hands. I realized what that actually meant only about a half second after asking my mom how someone could even do that. I heard a funny joke somewhere as a kid and told it to my dad and grandpa at some family gathering. Realized right as I was saying the punchline what it meant. Basically a woman's hairy VAJ. 
That gets replayed a lot when my brain decides it wants to watch a cringe compilation of myself. My grandpa laughed at least. Don't remember my pop's reaction. I bolted too fast. I don't actually gag if I, for instance, shove my finger down my throat. But I can still choke on food for some reason. Well gagging I think is usually a uvula thing that little test tickle way back in your mouth compared to choking which is blockage of air. Edit thanks for gold and silver. My first time getting either and both of them are on my highest upvoted comment. I can make chicks turn bone dry in an instant. I can have six for hours and not comb. First time I had six I expected to last 20 seconds like everybody says. GF and I have six for at least 45 minutes and I didn't finish. Even tried NAL and nothing. Legit cried because I thought I was gay and not attracted to women. Been with a few women and only stopped because I got tired or she came. To date I have ONLH came with 5% of my partners. I talked to a few doctors about it and was told it was a mental, emotional thing. Sure it sounds great but when the girl you love cries and says you can't come because you don't find me attractive is depressing. Go see a pelvic floor physical therapist. I have this. It's part mental and part physical. Stop jerking off or watching porn if you do. Men tense their pelvic floors really bad when they jerk themselves off cause it feels good and you get way too used to it. Physical therapy solved my problem. Now I can last really long but still come when I want to. P.S. Relax and hold your breath when you want to come. And make sure your pelvic floor isn't tensed. You almost want to be pushing it out like you're pooping. Do not poop in the bed. Oh by the way I also had multiple doctors tell me I couldn't do anything about it. Before the PA solved it. While I sometimes have a hard time getting wet. It is very easy to make me orgasm. My partner takes great joy in making me come with the slightest touch. Also I have no gag reflex. I had a girlfriend like that I would hot dog her for foreplay and she would come before I ever got to the deed. I can have the six for hours without finishing. Or I'll bust a nut right out the gate. There is no in between. I can cover my erect big dig with my sack like a boner pierogi. I can walk around a construction site with no hard hat on. And most of the time I survive. I can make my wife come. My pain tolerance goes up extremely when I'm horny. This helps a lot because I'm a masochist who likes nipple play. Reading this thread, it dawns on me that a shockingly large majority of you work at places where it is not safe to have sex. Apparently my technique of Hitachi wand above the clitoris, tongue on the clitoris, and two fingers inside rubbing on what I think is the pelvic bone made my wife squirt for the first time and have an orgasm like she's never had. But I'm just an idiot still learning how to please her. You discovered the squirt trigger by accident. Pressing up on that spot from inside while also pressing down from outside. I can't remember what it really is right now. But it works extremely well. You got yourself a lucky wife there. I can queef on demand. Sucking my boss's big dig. You're hired.